<coughs> Do your best. Just be yourself. Be natural, be natural. <coughs> Hello everybody, welcome. Ah, there we go. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Jordan Young, AKA Sneakonomics, back with another banger. Today, I am going to be taking a pair of shoes out of a box and telling you guys what I think about them. The shoes in question are these, the Nike SB Dunk Low Tight Boots. I'm delighted to say that I won these for retail. And before you go getting all mad saying, you sneaker YouTuber influencer types always get the dubs on these cool sneakers, allow me to remind you very quickly that I have pretty much taken L's on every major SB release this year. These, the Gardenias, and the Run the Jewels are the only notable SB collabs I have hit on for retail this year, and they're all pretty much the cheapest on the market. So if you're upset about hearing that I copped these for resale, you can go and f*** off. Tight Booth was founded in 2005 by Osaka-born professional skater Shinpei Ueno. Sorry bro, I might have made your name sound a little bit more Latino there. Ueno. Not only is the bro a legendary professional skater, but he's also a filmmaker and a pizzeria owner. The company sells streetwear and skatewear and continue a number of highly successful Japanese skate collaborations following on from skateboarding's inauguration at the 2020 Olympic Games held in Tokyo. Such dunks include the recent collaboration with Yuto Horigome, the FTC and the Gundam dunks and the Dictionary of Color dual release. This colorway is black and white and safety orange and it draws inspiration from the freedom of skating in the streets in the night. It's constructed with black suede, textured white leather overlays which reference metal grates. It also has reflective side panel Nike swooshes and flashes of safety orange on the type booth branded flag label. It sort of hangs off the swoosh a la the off-white stuff as well as on the inside of the tongue and on the custom insoles. The padded tongue showcases bold type booth branding which disappears underneath the laces and the iconic SB Dunk Low Pro label woven on the tongue. You get three sets of laces, the white pair that comes factory as well as an extra set of orange and black laces. Kind of feel like these would pop really hard with the orange laces installed. Some of my favorite features on the shoe include this metal grating that does actually have a little bit of a negative side to it that I'll talk about in a second. But I like the reflective swoosh. I like the hits of safety orange on the type booth flag as well as on the inside of the tongue. I like the big type booth branding on the tongue as well as the dotted mesh finish. It kind of gives off off this whole nocturnal vibe. And I like the Nike sign on the back, how it's kind of been cut out in your left with this kind of reflective material underneath. I think the aesthetic that they were going for in line with this nocturnal skating theme was well executed. I feel like the overall quality is good. In terms of the QC, my only gripe is with this white leather metal grating material. You see, because of the nature of the material and the way that it's been cut and applied, certain parts of the shoe kind of look like they've been badly finished because of this grating pattern that kind of gets cut off. And so combine that with a little bit of the fraying on the edges of the leather cuts and in certain parts of the shoe it just looks and feels a little bit untidy. It is also kind of cool to just get a regular cotton material type liner rather than the towel material we've been getting on a lot of the recent SBs. And so whilst my overall impression of the shoes are really positive we might as well chuck them on foot and see how they look and feel how they feel.
In terms of the sizing, I went true to size as I normally do with my Nike SBs. I went for a US 10.5. I found that these fit absolutely fine with a little bit of extra room in the toe box. They didn't come up narrow like a lot of the other SB collabs we've had this year. And so I'd recommend just getting your normal SB size. In terms of the comfort, regular SB comfort, it's not out the gate awesome, but still nice nonetheless. In terms of styling and how they look on foot, I feel like this is a really wearable colorway. You can't really go wrong with this type of blocking. If you really wanted to make them exciting, you could of course install the orange laces or opt for another color pair from your collection and really make them pop off a lot more. But I feel like just with the white laces installed as they are, they look pretty dope. These are releasing on the Nike sneakers app on the 14th. And at the moment, the resale prices aren't too crazy. I'm just having a look now in my size and the last sale was 177 pounds, around 200 bucks. And so these are coming into the resale market at a slightly lower price point than we've been used to seeing in recent times, especially in comparison to shoes like the Born and Raised or the Yutos or the Haritos, etc. And so if you do really want these and you miss out copying for retail, you're not gonna have to spend an arm and a leg trying to get your hands on these. In terms of collectability and stuff like that, I feel like this is a no-brainer Nike SB Dunk to add to the collection. Shinpei is a legendary skater. Sneaker has some really cool storytelling behind it and isn't that crazy on the resale market. All in all, I think it's a W shoe. My only reservation, like I mentioned before, is the QC on my pair isn't absolutely amazing, but otherwise I feel like it ticks all the boxes. Really wearable, really easy to style. They fit a little bit better than some of the other SP collabs so far this year. And if you want to make them a little bit more exciting, you've got the lace options there to do it. And so it's a W shoe in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments and make sure you guys like the video before you bounce. And I will see you on the next one. Take care for now and peace.